I grew up in Norfolk, Virginia, um, and uh, an important part of my experience, and I spoke with the governor about this in my interview, was being educated in the Norfolk Public Schools, which uh, have a history of uh, deciding not to abide by the United States Supreme Court decision of Brown versus Board of Education. They, in fact, subscribed to massive resistance, which was the closure of schools when a court order from the United States Supreme Court was handed down to desegregate and allow black children and white children to go to school together, um, children of all races and background. And it was my mother's just sheer determination to say, the Supreme Court said it, my children deserve to benefit from this court order, and I am going to work hard to ensure that my children get the benefit of a desegregated and quality education. So my mother stood toe to toe with the superintendent of the Norfolk Public Schools at that time, and that would have been in the early 70s, some two decades almost after the Brown decision of 1954 was handed down. And by her example, uh, that played a major role in my experience of understanding the importance of the rule of law, but also the importance of people who are going to make the law live up to its promise of equality and justice. So it is that experience that really informs uh, my understanding of what it means to be a justice and a judge in Minnesota because court orders have to be followed. They have to be meaningful. They have to reflect the yearnings, the strivings, the aspirations of all Minnesotans, and they have to be fair and promote equality and justice. So my experience was one where I benefited then from my mother's advocacy and my ability to attend Norfolk's public schools and all of the richness that came with that, but some of the slights and some of the hardships as well. And it gave me a rich experience of understanding that there are many who had great fortune and there were many who were less fortunate than I but we in a community and in a world can work together to fulfill the promises not only of the Brown decision, but what it is founded on, which is our constitution and equal justice under the law.